Okay, we're given a word problem. This one's about Android tablets. Manufacturers of these Android tablets have monthly fixed costs of $25,200. And we also have variable costs of $300 per unit for its entry level tablet. Okay, so for every unit, you have to pay an extra $300 to help create it, right? To make it. All right, the company sells the tablets for $439 each. And our goal here is we're going to create a cost function, a revenue function, a profit function, and then use those to find the cost of selling 450 of these. The revenue from 450 and the profit from 450. So let's get started. Jumping right in here, our cost function is going to have two components. We have both fixed costs, 25200 plus our variable costs. Now it's going to be 300 but that needs to be multiplied by however many units we're creating or selling. So 300 multiplied by x because x is our variable in this situation. All right, next up, our revenue function. Our revenue function is going to be given by, um, well, however much money we're bringing in, right? So for each tablet we sell, x, we're going to bring in $439 multiplied by however many tablets we sell. All right, finally, um, before we plug in some actual numbers, we want to create a profit function. And this is where everyone kind of goes wrong, so I'll try to point this out. The profit is always however much money you bring in, your revenue, minus all of your costs. Okay, so in our case, our revenue function was given by 439x, and then from that we have to subtract away our cost function. So our cost function was 25200 plus 300x. Now you may notice that I used a big set of parentheses. That's important so we don't make a, a silly error along the way, right? It was revenue minus the cost. So I simply subtracted away the entire cost function. But you have to be careful that this is really 439x minus 25,200. And that negative also gets distributed to that 300x. So don't forget that this negative gets distributed to both those terms. All right, we can combine like terms and make a little bit nicer looking answer here. We can say 139x minus 25,200, and that's gonna be our profit function P of X. All right, from here, we can. the rest of it really is a hopefully pretty straightforward fill in the blank. All right, evaluate the cost function at 450. So selling 450 tablets, that would be 25,200 plus 300 times 450, which I'm getting my calculator out to help on this one. I think that works out to be $160,200. Our revenue is pretty similar. This time it's going into the revenue function. 439 multiplied by 450 is going to equal 197,550. And finally, our profit function, let's go to the um, profit of 450. Now, we could do a subtraction using the numbers we just collected, right? The uh, revenue minus the cost, since we already did those. Or we could go ahead and fill in 139 multiplied by 450 minus 25,200 is going to work out for a profit of $37,350 for selling 450 units. All right, so I hope this helps out as you're working through these, trying to get it set up. Most likely, if you make a mistake here, it's because we forgot to distribute this negative to both these terms, and you have like something like 739 times x down here at the bottom. All right, good luck.